Look at that too. Woo! <laughs> Alright guys. If y'all doing alright, it's Thomas Southern Outdoors in the Sea. Today we're gonna to talk about pond fishing. You know I do a lot of pond fishing. Uh, do, I, I fish from the from the boat, uh, from the, the John boat, my kayak, and I just do a lot of bank fishing. So a lot of y'all have asked me uh, what kind of baits I've used, what kind of baits I use. Well, I'm going to tell you about my favorite pond fishing ways to fish and baits. Um, so we're going to get right down into it and uh, go from there, guys. So where do you start? Uh, you kind of got to think about what what time of year it is. It's kind of where I start at. All right, guys, let's start with top water. So here is just some of the top water ways I like to fish. Um, I really like these these baits um, the best. Uh, I've got. You see me put out a video. I link this video up in the upper right hand corner. But here is the Strike King Sugar Buzz uh, Buzz bait. I've just got a little cream lures uh, screamer, real screamer uh, swim bait on the back of that thing. So that's what I got here. And I've got it paired up on my on my Fenwick Bass Elite. This is the medium heavy, moderate rod. So uh, that's what that one's on. I really need to put this on my on my uh, fast tip rod. It, it it actually worked a little bit better, but. I just picked up one up and stuck it on here, but you know, that's just one of the baits. I like to use also Have come have come to really really like this this lunker hunt Popping frog It's got you see me put the video out. I linked I linked to that one. It's got the, uh, the Kind of like the cup in the front there It's really nice And these legs have got a lot of action to them so as you popping that thing them legs will fling backwards and come forwards and it just makes for a really really nice some really nice action you can also go with a uh, this is the strike king frog uh, green pumpkin chartreuse belly and uh, the super toad that's what these are these are here are the super toads That's a really good bait. You see the short chartreuse belly on those. I really like those. Um, you got the, uh, I think this is the live target frog. You got this. That's a good one. Especially around lily pads, grass, things like that because it's weedless. You got your hooks here on top. Um, you got open water. This is the Super Spook Junior. You, you know, I, I really like this one because it's got the little red on the front. It's got, see how it's uh, in the sun. It's kind of prismy looking. I don't know how you say it, but lack of words, that's all I've got. <laughs> but uh, it really looks nice. It's got good big eyes on it. White belly. I like that white belly. Um, uh, also, you got, you got the Rebel Popar here. It, you know, I've got different ones of these. These right here work really, really well. They're really good poppers. And, uh, of course, you got the regular old buzz bait. This one's got the clicker on it. This is a bite. This, uh, uh, I'm not sure what kind this is. I think it's Bayou Baits. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Can't remember. But there's that one. It's got the clicker on it. it works good. If you're looking out over a body of water, uh, you're kind of wondering how I should start fishing it. My suggestion is use a weightless worm. Use a weightless worm. This right here will get you far more bites than probably any other way of fishing. I mean, that is no joke. This particular worm is a golden baits worm. Uh, they've got scent built into them i use a number four alt uh worm hook eagle worm hook works great um i really like the golden baits you just 
you can find him on Facebook. But they've got some really good, really, really good baits. I've caught some good fish with these with these baits. I like the scent of, I like the scent of them. They're kind of a garlic. They got the garlic kind of baked into them. Work really well. These are some good colors as well. You got um, uh, like a smoke color with blue blue flake in it. Uh, green pumpkin blue flake and purple with with some metal flake in it. So I mean that's just a few zoom watermelon seed got those so just like i said rig it weightless uh skin hook it right here and uh yeah that's just i'll put a link to the video on how to work this guys it is a great great way to start pond fishing if you don't know anything about a pond start that way it's my number one way to start one of the next ways to, to, to fish a pond um, is one of my favorite is using a zoom uh, trick worm. I have a lot, a lot of good luck on that color right there. That pink color is all it is. It's just a pink color. And I'll tell you, I get a lot of hits on that thing. A lot of hits. Caught a lot of bass that way. Uh, here's some more golden baits basically same color just in a different type of worm right there I like white as well but the other way to fish these things is on a shaky head just fish it on a shaky head this is one of the Jay Reynolds shaky heads there it is there but you can use it you can fish them that way that produces a lot of fish as well you can also use swim baits uh, swim baits work really, very really well. Here's a larger size swim bait, the culprit, Viber Shad, in pearl. And this right here is a good, a good one. Use some swim baits. Now in the in the spring, you saw me catch a, a few fish on the uh, Bass Punitions bait, and this right here is exactly how I had this thing rigged. Just like that. I caught that probably four. It was right at four pound, I think, is what I weighed it at. And it wasn't no huge monster, but it was, it was good pond pond fish. But just taking a two alt EWG hook, which extra wide gap, and just rigging it through there. Here's some more beavers. Here's a cream beaver. And then the uh this right here, I hadn't used this one yet, but this is just another one I had I'm gonna show you. Now there's a few other ways you can, you guys can fish ponds that that really produce well. Another way to fish a pond uh, that's, you know, it's got some depth to it, that don't have a lot of moss and grass, that you can use a little square bill. This is the KVD 1.5. You're reeling it slow, you, you know, you give it a few jerks every now and then, and that's basically it with that one. That there, guys, is one of my favorites. My That is actually my favorite color to use. I love that color. This is the Yoziri. This come in the uh, Lucky Tackle Box for this month. Um, that thing is just gorgeous. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this here in a minute. See if I can catch a fish or two with it. And I've just got a little snap hook on the top of it here. But uh, I'm going to try that here in a minute. See what I can do. I just want to talk to you just for a minute about rigging these things. How do you rig them? It's like this little square bill. Tie it on the line. Don't always cut it, you know? So what I do is, I've got 20 pound braid on here. Uh, Power Pro uh, braid, this is a green color. Um, and then I've got a piece of fluorocarbon. Uh, this right here, the Vanish. 20 pound fluorocarbon. Not, not, I don't have the true fluorocarbon, the high dollar stuff. That's just, just something that you, you'd buy, you know, for putting on your reel as a full spool. But I'll take about anywhere from 18 to 24 inches piece of fluorocarbon. And I'll take a uni knot and I'll tie it. I'll tie a uni knot there if you can see it from braid, from the braid here to the fluorocarbon and now and then I'll tie the 
depending on what kind of bait it is, if it's a top water, if it's some kind of top water, I'll use a piece of uh, mono. I've got some mono here, just some old mono, 12 pound. You know, you can go up to whatever pound you want, but I don't want to use nothing real heavy for down here at the pond. You don't want to use four carbon while top water fishing because four carbon sinks. It'll pull the front of that, it'll pull the front of that uh, bait down. It'll take it down. So you don't want that. And you don't want to put any snaps or anything like that on the front either because it, it'll it'll do the same thing. It'll pull that, that front of that bait down. It won't make it work like it should. You don't want to do that. Uh, but I'll take a piece of mono and tie it to a topwater bait. If I want something that dives, if I'm using this 1.5, if I'm using a uh, little rail trap, if I'm using anything that I want to sink uh, and stay down, I use a piece of floor carbon. If I want to stay up, um, say I'm using a Carolina rig. Uh, sometimes I use four carbon. If I want it to stay on the bottom. If I'm using a Carolina rig, like I like I did whenever I caught that big bass up at Roundman, I was using this exact rig right here. Using a half ounce lead weight, which I'm going to start getting tungsten. Half ounce lead weight, a little clear bead. I've got different colors, but I just a little clear bead. I've got a swivel right there. And I got a piece of uh, mono, you know, about 18 inches long or so. I've got just a regular four walt worm hook on here, and to a six inch golden baits lizard, uh, green pumpkin. Say I wanted that bait to stay down the bottom. I wanted I wanted it to to stay down. Well, I use a piece of uh, four carbon. If I want it to kind of float up more. I'll use a piece of mono. So just kind of little things like that to keep in mind. I'm not going to use this in a pond though. This is this is strictly lake fishing. You get all kinds of junk on your pond from the bottom of your pond. At least the ponds around here I do. Hi guys. I uh, hope you found this video informative. If you got any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask. If you got a request for a video, uh, something I've gone over, something I hadn't gone over. Please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to try to do that for you guys. Um, I'll, I'm always looking for video ideas. And you guys who wanna, who were my subscribers and viewers, always looking for that information. Told you this many times before, I wanna put out videos that you guys wanna see. I hope, like I said, I hope this was informative. If not, if you got a question about something, please don't, don't hesitate, ask me. Ask me. <laughs> Leave it in the comment section below. Guys, thank you again for watching this video. I hope, it, I, hope I made it informative uh, for you. And uh, guys, y'all are awesome. I appreciate every one of you. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video so others can get to see it. Um, and uh, y'all take care. Have a good weekend. Peace.